Greetings, everybody. Maximus here with some exciting news, especially if you're a fan of Airbus. The European aerospace giant has just hit a critical milestone in the journey toward launching its next generation cargo aircraft, the A350 Freighter or the A350F. However, that also means they've hit another milestone as well. And that is on its attempt to break Boeing of its stranglehold on the air cargo market by bringing the future of its brand new bespoke all new cargo variant one step closer to reality. As the very first wing set for the all new A350 freighter has just been completed at Airbus's historic Broad facility in the UK. And though that might sound like just some routine manufacturing update, well, that in fact is a pivotal moment in the evolution of a global air freight. And so, yeah, that's a big deal. Because this isn't just another cargo freighter. This is Airbus's most advanced cargo aircraft yet. And not only is Boeing watching, but the entire cargo aviation world as well. Airbus's Broughton Wales facility has now finished producing the first wing set for the A350F. And these aren't just any ordinary aircraft wings. Built with cutting edge next generation carbon fiber composites, the A350F's wings are designed to be lighter, stronger, and more aerodynamically efficient. And well, to put that in plain English, or even the King's English, that translates into better fuel efficiency and lower emissions. And lower emissions and better fuel economy translates into more cargo move further for less. And don't worry UK, I kid, I kid. Your English is okay too. And just a quick bit of history about the Airbus Broughton Wales facility, where Airbus has been building wings for over 50 years now. The current Airbus Broughton site was founded in 1939 as a shadow factory for the production of the Vickers Wellington and the Avro Lancaster. After the war, de Havilland took over the factory and it was used to produce various aircraft including the Mosquito and the Comet. By 2011, Airbus's Broughton facility employed more than 6,500 people, mostly responsible for the wing assembly of all Airbus aircraft with the exception of the Chinese A320s whose wings are assembled in China, the A220 assembled in Belfast, as well as the A400M assembled in Filton. However, once completed, all Airbus's wings are transported by Airbus's Beluga or Airbus's Beluga XL to the final assembly lines at Hamburg or Airbus Toulouse. But back to the A350 freighter. These wings are nearly identical to those used on the A350 passenger variant. And that's no accident, because by designing the A350F to use the same production line, Airbus is cutting costs, speeding up production, and making the most of its existing infrastructure. A clever move that helps bring this aircraft to market faster and more affordably. Once equipped, the wings will head to Toulouse, France, where Airbus's final assembly line will unite them with the aircraft's fuselage. This process will form the first A350F test aircraft, a prototype that will lead the way for the model's certification and eventual commercial entry. Now, if you're wondering when the A350 will actually take flight, here's the timeline. Airbus is currently building two test aircraft. These will undergo extensive flight testing throughout 2026 and 2027. And while the original launch date has been pushed back slightly, it is now expected in the second half of 2027. And Airbus insists that production is advancing on schedule. In fact, Airbus recently completed another significant task, the forward fuselage section of the A350F has now been equipped with essential onboard systems, marking another major step toward full assembly of its first all-new factory-produced jumbo freighter. Paul Kilmister, head of wide-body wings at Airbus Broughton, called the milestone a proud moment, saying with nearly 1,400 A350s ordered, including 63 freighters, Broughton will continue to play a crucial role in the future of Airbus. He also noted that the A350F is designed to shape the future of air cargo. A cleaner, smarter, and more capable future, he added. And the A350F is just not built with hauling around Amazon packages in mind. It's also being built in response to strict European demand for more fuel-efficient, low-emission cargo aircraft. 
Airbus says it will burn 25% less fuel and emit 25% less CO2 than older freighters. It will be the only new freighter aircraft to fully comply with the latest ICAO emissions standards. Okay, so then what will make new Airbus's freighter stand out among its competitors? Well, the A350F isn't just a greener machine, it's also built for performance. It will include a large main deck cargo door, a reinforced fuselage, and a maximum payload capacity of over 109 tons. And this positions it squarely in the heavyweight category. That puts it in direct competition with aircraft like Boeing's 777 freighter. And major carriers are already lining up to modernize their fleets with the new Airbus Cargo Twin. With major carriers already placing orders for the A350F, it is expected to redefine the future of long-haul freight transport. And airlines are looking forward to replacing aging fleets with aircraft that are not only more efficient, but also compliant with stricter emission rules that are now emerging around the world. However, Airbus needs to act fast. Because, oh no, Boeing isn't sitting back and resting and waiting for Airbus to fly by, oh no. Because their new monster twin jumbo 777X will also come in a freighter variant. And that too is sure to shake up the industry when it arrives on the scene soon.